support a counter control loop uh, where we use a counter variable to stop the loop and the sentinel control loop and now we discuss flag control loop uh, in a flag control loop basically we use a boolean variable uh, that may be called flag and uh, initially this boolean variable may be true but uh, later on when we want to stop the loop we will set this boolean variable as false so let's say I, I declare a boolean variable bool and let's name it flag you can name set give it any name and initially it is true so when it is true it means uh, if I set it inside the while loop then they'll, this while loop will keep running because it will always be true so if I write here some code like go on and stop here so this is an infinite loop because it is always true so let's see what happens it will keep running go on go on go on okay so now we want to do something so that this loop should stop some way and for that what can we do let's take the same counter example again uh, uh, same counting example again we want to uh, print the counting from 0 to let's say 50 so initially I declare a variable x with value 0 and then I print that x and now I increment the value x plus 1 so first time it will print 0 next time it will print 1 2 3 4 5 so on and then uh, we want to stop this loop when x becomes 51 because we want do not want to print 51 so here I uh, apply an if condition if x is equal to 50 then we will simply set the flag value as false and now when flag is false uh, what will happen uh, this condition will become false and we will get out of the loop so let's try this code yes yes so 0 to 49 okay actually uh, yes here we should write 51 so because we want to print 50 as well so it is uh, yes from 0 to 50 right so that was it uh, say, stay tuned for the next lectures